हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द वीकली क्वेश्चन आज हम कवर करने वाले हैं क्वेश्चंस बेस्ड ऑन द करंट अफेयर्स व्हिच अपीयर्ड इन न्यूज पेपर्स फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी नाइन्थ मे टू फोर्थ जून दैट इज व्हाई इट इज वीकली क्वेश्चन इस क्विज के जरिए आपको ये पता लग पाएगा कि करंट अफेयर के बेसिस पे यूपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन में कैसे क्वेश्चंस आते हैं एंड इट इज गोइंग टू हेल्प यू प्रिपेयर बेटर फॉर द यूपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन बाय गिविंग यू अ ग्लिम्स ऑफ क्वेश्चंस व्हिच आर आस्ड इन यूपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन नाउ लेट्स बिगिन विद द वेरी फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन कंसीडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट सो दिस इज अ वेरी स्टैंडर्ड टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन यूपीएससी टू स्टेटमेंट्स आर गिवन एंड व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज करेक्ट यू हैव टू मार्क द करेक्ट स्टेटमेंट्स So now let's see the very first statement the global temperatures owing to the climate change are likely to surge to a record high in the next 2 years if you have read about the recent reports which were released by world meteorological organizations you would know that the statement is very correct that wmo has said that the global temperatures which are as a result of climate change will be uh, surging to a record high in the upcoming 2 years so statement 1 is correct Now coming to the statement two, the WMO said that the chances of temporarily exceeding 1.5 degree temperatures has risen steadily since 2010 when it was very close to zero. जब हम इस statement को first time पढ़ते हैं तो हमें लगता है कि हाँ ये statement हमने कहीं newspapers में देखी है और ये correct है. लेकिन यहाँ पे एक बहुत minute सी mistake है statement में because WMO ने कहा है कि जो 1.5 डिग्री सेल्सियस का हमारा टारगेट है वो एक्सीड हो सकता है विच इज करेक्ट बट वेन इट सेज की 2010 में इट वाज वेरी क्लोज टू जीरो इट इज इनकरेक्ट बिकॉज दिस हैज टू बी 2015 सो स्टेटमेंट टू इज इनकरेक्ट सो हियर द आंसर बिकम्स दैट स्टेटमेंट वन इज करेक्ट बट टू इज इनकरेक्ट सो आंसर विल बी सी हियर नाउ कमिंग टू द सेकेंड क्वेश्चन नाउ कंसिडर द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट नाउ ऑल द थ्री स्टेटमेंट आर रिगार्डिंग डी Now, if you have read your newspaper, DSR is your direct seeding rise. Now, let's read uh, the three statements given regarding the DSR. DSR is a system wherein dried seeds are sown directly into the field. This statement is correct because by the method of D, the DSR method, what happens is that the many of the states, which were rice producing states, are shifting to DSR technique because of the shortage of labor and shortage of water. And this technique allows you to grow rice directly into the fields uh, in the fields and the uh, time period which is required in the nursery to grow the saplings in the nursery first reduces and the labor is also not required so the very first statement is correct then the second one is real chemical herbicides are replaced by water in your dsr so when we say that the real chemical herbicides are replaced by water this is incorrect because water is replaced by your real chemical herbicide so the statement has been reversed here so this is incorrect now the third one is in dsr seedlings are grown in the nursery first now the statement is again incorrect because in dsr you do not have to grow the seedlings in the nursery this was a traditional method so only one statement is correct and you have to mark how many statements are correct so the answer is a here now moving to the next question consider the following statement with reference to the number of applicants allowed per applicant for support under production limited scheme now why this question is here because the production limited scheme 2.0 version has been launched by the government now let's read the statements regarding the scheme the applicants application per applicant under the scheme shall be limited to 2 now this statement is incorrect because this is limited to 1 here applicants of the existing pli scheme that is 1.0 version who have not claimed any incentives will be allowed to participate in the pli 2.0 scheme as a new entrants provided they are selected so now the provision regarding the applicants who have not availed the benefits under the pli scheme can claim and they will be considered as a new entrants in the scheme so the statement here is correct now the third one is the applications and the applicants of the existing pli scheme who wants to claim incentive in the year 1 or year 2 will be allowed to participate in pli 2.0 scheme from the next year that is the year 2 and year 3 for which incentive is not claimed provided they are selected now this statement is also correct because the existing pli scheme applicants who who want the claim who want to claim incentives in the year 1 or year 2 वो अलाउ किया जाएगा कि वो पार्टिसिपेट कर सके पी एल आई टू पी एल आई टू पॉइंट ओ स्कीम में लेकिन ईयर टू और ईयर थ्री से जिसके लिए इंसेंटिव क्लेम नहीं किए गए थे बट वन कंडीशन इज देट दे शुड बी सिलेक्टेड 
Now, in such cases, their investment done during the tenure of the existing PLI scheme will be considered as an eligible investment under your 2.0 scheme also. So, here one is wrong and the other two statements are correct. That is why the answer becomes B. Only two statements are correct. Now, moving to the next question, it is in reference to the navigation system. Consider the following pairs NVS01 India, GLONASS China, Galileo Russia. The fourth one is Baidu Japan. Now, we have to find how many of the above pairs are correctly matched. Now, if you have read the, your newspapers very carefully, you might be aware of the fact that India's second generation satellite, which is under NAVIC, that is Navigation by Indian Constellation Services, they have launched their first second generation satellite and that is named NVS-01. So, first one is matched correctly. Now, when we talk about GLONASS, it is the navigation system of Soviet Union. So, second pair is matched incorrectly. Galileo is the navigation system of Europe. So, the third pair is also not matched correctly. When we talk about Baidu, ki, it is not the navigation system of Japan, but it is the navigation system of China. So, only one pair, that is NVS-01, belongs to India is marked correctly. So, the answer here is going to be A. Now, moving to the next question. Consider the following statements about the impact of global plastic treaty on the globe. Now, this question is related to your global plastic treaty. So, you must know about what is this treaty, what were the key highlights of the treaty and why it was in news. So, in 2022, the UN Environment Assembly in Nairobi and 175 countries agreed to develop a legally binding global treaty. This treaty was called your Global Plastic Treaty or GPT and it aimed to end the plastic pollution by 2024. Now, let's read the statements given regarding this treaty. GPT includes mechanisms for monitoring and reporting progress on plastic waste reduction targets. So, the statement 1 is correct because GPT includes a mechanism just may monitor or report kar sakte hai progress plastic waste reduction targets ki ki kitna hamne target jo hai achieve kiya hai aur usko monitor bhi kar sakte hai. Jab hum second statement ki baat karte hai, the treaty encourages the nation to work on their pollution contribution and compensate other nations for plastic pollution. Now, when we talk about compensating other nations for plastic pollution, this is not part of GPT. So, the statement 2 is incorrect. So, now we are left with only 1 is correct or only 2 is correct because if the third one is correct, the answer will be B. If the third is wrong, the answer is going to be your A. Now, let's come to the third statement. The GPT aims to significantly reduce plastic pollution, which is correct, by implementing measures to minimize the generation of plastic waste, correct, enhance recycling and recovery system, this is also part of your global plastic treaty, and it encourages sustainable alternative to single-use plastic, this is also correct. So, statement 3 is correct, and answer is going to be your B, that two of the statements mentioned above are correct. Now, let's come to the next question. With reference to the rare diseases, consider the following pairs. That is, we have to see which of the diseases are marked correctly along with the pair. Lerenz syndrome, it is a rare disease in which the body is unable to utilize the growth hormones resulting in your short stature. Now, when we talk about this, it is a rare disease in which body is unable to utilize the growth hormones. That is, body jo hoti hai, human body wo apne growth hormones ko properly utilize nahi kar paati hai. Jiski wajah se short stature is the consequence. So, this is marked correctly. This pair is matched correctly. Now, let's uh, come to the second pair, Wilson's disease. It, is, it causes continuous inflammation and tissue damage impacting the nervous system and joints. Now, this is marked incorrectly because this is a rare disorder in which copper is accumulated in your vital organs. Which organs are there? Like liver, brain, other organs. In me, copper accumulates. So, this is marked Incor incorrectly. Now, the next one is neonatal onset multi-system inflammatory disease. This is NOMID. Now, it is a rare disease in which copper is accumulated in the vital organ like liver, brain and others. Now, this is incorrect because I told you this is Wilson's disease. So, this is marked incorrectly. NOMD me, MID me kya hota hai? It causes continuous inflammation. This is marked. This was the explanation of NO. MID and this is the explanation of your Wilson disease basically. Now, let's come to the fourth pair. Now, the fourth one is CAH that is congenital adrenal hyperplasia. 
it is given it is a group of genetic disorder that affect adrenal gland now this is marked correctly so fourth and the first pair is marked correctly so answer is going to be how many pairs are matched correctly only two pairs are matched correctly now coming to the next question consider the following statement now the first statement is given the focal pendulum is a device named after french physicist leon foucault that demonstrate the earth's rotation now the second statement is the rate of rotation of the pendulum depends on the latitude of the location where it is suspended and at equator the pendulum rotates once in 24 hours at the north pole the pendulum rotates ro does not rotate at all now where have we list, uh, heard about this foucault pendulum now this was Uh, in the inauguration ceremony of the new parliament building it showcases a remarkable piece of scientific artistry suspended from the ceiling of the new parliament building this was your focal pendulum now this pendulum is a very simple device which was named after french physicist this is correctly mentioned here and it does demonstrate the earth's rotation so statement 1 is correct now when we talk about the second statement the rate of rotation of the pendulum it does depend on the latitude of the location where it is suspended so this this part of the statement too is also correct but when we talk about the at the equator the pendulum rotates once in 24 hours this is incorrect because this is the condition at the pole whereas at the equator the pendulum does not rotate at all so overall the second statement is incorrect so the correct answer is going to be statement 1 is correct and statement 2 is incorrect that is your c now moving towards the next question now consider the following dynasties sunga dynasty gadwala dynasty yadava dynasty and kushana dynasties now why these dynasties are in news is because the there was a excavation going on in the old fort region that is purana kila area by the archaeological survey of india and many artifacts have been found from the various dynasties so that is why these dynasties are in news so let's read the question consider the following dynasties artifacts from various dynasties have been discovered in the excavation by archaeological survey of india at purana kila how many dynasties mentioned above are associated with the old fort now if you have read your newspaper very clearly you must be aware of the fact that uh, historical time periods associated with nine cultural levels which included your pre mauryan mauryan sunga dynasty kushana gupta post gupta rajputa sultanate and mughal time period the artifacts from these dynasties have been found in the excavation at the purana kila so when we see these four dynasties the gadwala and the yadava dynasties are wrong and sunga and kushana are the correct one so only two that is b is the correct answer here both the dynasties are associated with artifacts which are found at the purana kila in the excavations now let's come to the next question a sculpted figure using the lost wax technique was made up of bronze it was discovered in 1926 by archaeologist ernest mckay and it was found in one of the largest and the most advanced urban settlement of the ancient world now you have to identify which uh, the above statement describes which of the following is it the dancing girl bearded man male torso or a bull now the dancing girl figurine was in news why because the contemporized version of dancing girl figurine of mohanjodaro which was found in mohanjodaro it was used as a mascot for the international museum expo 2023 in delhi so you must know the features or the characteristics of this so that this statement given here is associated with dancing girl or it describes dancing girl so answer here becomes a and dancing girl is one of the most famous and iconic artifacts of your indus valley civilization also and it was discovered in 1926 this is correct and it is made of bronze and it is sculpted using the lost wax wax technique also now moving to the next question consider the following statement in reference to it is a protection system of trains being developed since 2012 under the name train collision avoidance system now this question or the statements are given regarding your tcas which is train collision avoidance system it says this system uses radio frequency identification technology to communicate between trains and track side equipment this automated train protection system was developed by russia and india also named as kavach kavach is designed to reduce the risk of train collision and improve train safety we have to find out how many statements are 
correct ones. Now, the name mentioned here, Kavach, is the correct name. It is an indigenously developed automatic train protection system, that is ATPS, which was developed by the Research Design and Standards Organization of Indian Railways. Okay. So, and it is a train collision avoidance system that uses your radio frequency identification technology and it does communicate between trains and trackside equipment. So, statement one is correct. Now, it can detect approaching trains and alert trains driving of potential collisions and it can also automatically apply the brakes of trains if the collision is imminent. So, this has an automatic sensing system that if you think that trains collide or trains are going to be able to collide, then it will automatically put the brakes on the train. Now, when we come to the second statement that it is developed by Russia and India, the statement is incorrect because it is a completely indigenous system. Now, Kavach is designed to reduce the risk of train collisions and improve train safety. This is correct. It is currently being used on selected sections of Indian Railway only. And the plan is eventually, it will be eventually deployed on all the sections of Indian Railway Network. So, we get the answer as only two statements are correct. That is one and three. And the second one is wrong. Now, the National Institution for Transforming India, that is Niti Aayog, initiated an annual health index in collaboration with which of the following organizations? Now, this question can be asked in two ways. Either you will be asked a question on annual health index, which was released by Niti Aayog in collaboration with one of the following organizations, or you can be asked the question like this only that what are the organization or which organization collaborated with your Niti Aayog. So, you basically pata hona chahiye koi bhi agar index aaya hai ya koi bhi government scheme aaya hai to wo kis ministry ki hai ya agar collaboration mein hai to kaun kaun si organizations involved hai. Jab hum baat karte hai jo ki humara Niti Aayog ne jo annual health index nikala hai this is associated with your ministry of health and family welfare and your world bank that is it is a collaboration of three organizations world bank then the ministry of health and family welfare and Niti Aayog so answer here will be A so it's a very simple and straightforward question agar aapne news achche se padha hai aur aapne dekha hai ki kaun si ministry associated hai ya world bank ya WHO kaun associated hai to aap answer isko kar sakte hai at the same time, this question becomes difficult. If you have all the features of health index, but you have forgotten about the ministry, then this can be a tricky question for you. Now, moving to the next question. Which of the following statement best reflects the term de-dollarization? Now, this term de-dollarization is the process of reducing the use of United States dollar in the country's economy. That means, जब किसी भी कंट्री में हम यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स यानी अमेरिका का जो डॉलर करेंसी है उसका यूज को हम कम करते हैं तो उसको बोलते हैं डी डॉलराइजेशन का प्रोसेस नाउ विद रिगार्ड टू दिस प्रोसेस लेट्स कंसीडर द स्टेटमेंट्स गिवन द ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी वुड बिकम मोर डिपेंडेंट अपॉन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स नाउ अकॉर्डिंग टू डी डॉलराइजेशन अगर किसी कंट्री में होता है तो क्या ग्लोबल इकोनॉमी जो है वो मोर डिपेंडेंट ऑन यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स रहेगी नहीं रहेगी तो ये स्टेटमेंट गलत है क्योंकि जब हम ये कह रहे हैं कि हम डॉलर का यूटिलाइजेशन कम करेंगे तो डिपेंडेंसी कम होगी रेदर देन इंक्रीजिंग सो स्टेटमेंट इज इन करेक्ट नाउ मूविंग टू द सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट द यूएस इकोनॉमी वुड बिकम मोर रेजिलियंट टू इकोनॉमिक शॉक्स नाउ दिस इज अगेन इन करेक्ट The third one is the US dollar would become stronger in its status as a world reserve currency. Now, this is again incorrect because the alternatives will be used. So, it is not going to become more stronger. Now, it is a process whereby countries tend to reduce their reliance on US dollar. This is correct as a reserve currency and a medium of exchange and also a unit of account. Now, here the statement D is correct and it is best describing your de-dollarization. Now, when we talk about why the countries would want to de-dollarize, one reason is that they may be concerned about the US government's ability to print money and devalue the dollar. Another reason is that they may be concerned about US government's use of economic sanctions against the other countries. Recently, there are 18 countries which include UK, Germany, Russia, etc. They have given the permission to trade in Indian rupees and that means they have allowed de-dollarization also. Now, moving to the next question, which of the following statements best reflects the term salt carbon based reserves? Now, we have to see what which out of the following is the meaning of this term salt carbon based reserves. 
now if we talk about the why the, where this term was in use or what it is associated with government owned consultancy firm engineers india that is your eil is studying the prospects and feasibility of developing salt caravan based strategic oil reserves in rajasthan to achieve energy security so it is related to that unlike underground rock caverns which are developed through excavation salt caverns are developed by the process of solution mining जिसमे हम वॉटर पम्प करते हैं इंटू जियोलॉजिकल फॉर्मेशन विद लार्ज सॉल्ट डिपोजिट टू डिजोल्व योर सॉल्ट नाउ लेट्स रीड द स्टेटमेंट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग डिस्क्राइब द बेस्ट आउट ऑफ द फोर सॉल्ट कैवरेंस आर डेवलप्ड बाय द प्रोसेस ऑफ सोल्यूशन माइनिंग विच इन्वॉल्व पंपिंग वॉटर इन टू द जियोलॉजिकल फॉर्मेशन विद लार्ज सॉल्ट डिपोजिट टू डिजोल्व द सॉल्ट नाउ दिस अपियर्स टू बी करेक्ट बट लेट्स एलिमिनेट द अदर थ्री टू मार्क द ए एज द आंसर The salt caverns is a large underground chamber created by excavating rock. Now this is wrong because this is done in the underground rock caverns, not in salt caverns. Now let's come to the statement C. Salt caverns are typically less expensive to develop than your rock caverns. हो गए यहाँ पर. So this statement is again incorrect because salt caverns are typically more expensive to develop than your rock caverns. Then let's come to the statement D. Salt caverns are not as well sealed like rock caverns. This is again incorrect because salt caverns are well sealed like your rock caverns. So the answer here is A. Now moving to the next question. India successfully carried out the training launch of Agni One missile. Yes, this is correct. It was done. Uh, the the missile was launched from Odisha and it was in the trial phase. It is a trial uh, launch of Agni One missile. Which of the following is incorrect about the Agni One missile? Now, mind it, we are here. We have to mark the incorrect ones. Generally, what happens is, जब कोई भी missile या कोई भी satellite launch की जाती है, तो उसके features या किस किस technology के द्वारा उसे बनाया गया है या वो launch की गई है, उसके regarding questions आ सकते हैं. So again, here is a question regarding Agni One missile. Now, Agni One is a medium-range ballistic missile. This is very correct. It is capable of carrying a payload of a a uh, one thousand uh, five hundred kgs. Now we'll come back to the statement again. Let's see the third statement. Agni One is used by the Strategic Force Command (SFC) of Indian Army. This is also correct. This ballistic missile is a medium-range ballistic missile which is used by Indian Army. Then Agni One ballistic missile has a strike range of seven hundred to twelve hundred kilometers, and it weighs around twelve thousand kilograms. This is also correct. Now here the statement B is incorrect. Why? Because the payload capacity of Agni One is only thousand kgs. It is not fifteen hundred kgs. So answer here is going to be B because we have to mark the incorrect one. Now let's come to the question number fifteen. In India, which one of the following organization developed the National Automated Fingerprint Identification System? Again, a very simple, but yet this question can be a tricky question if you don't remember the organization and you remember all the features of National Automated Fingerprint Identification System. Now, CBI, NIA, and Narcotics Control Bureau will be providing access to National Automated Fingerprint Identification System. and it will integrate central agency's data with that of state's police records that means the central agency ka jitna bhi data hai usko incorporate kiya jayega state police record ke sath using your national automated finger identification fingerprint identification system now the options in this question seems to be very confusing that is ncrb bhi mentioned hai ncb cbi na nia bhi mentioned hai but difference hai सी बी आई ए एन आई ए और एन सी बी जो है वो एक्सेस प्रोवाइड करेंगे आपका सिर्फ नेशनल ऑटोमेटेड फिंगरप्रिंट आइडेंटिफिकेशन सिस्टम के लिए वेर एज जब हम बात करते हैं कि डेवलप किसने किया है इट वॉज डेवलप बाई एन सी आर बी इन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सो आंसर हेयर इज ए सो दिस इज अ वेरी माइन्यूट डिफरेंस यू शुड नो यू शुड बिकॉज जब आप न्यूज पेपर में ये न्यूज पढ़ेंगे तो आपको ये चारों ऑर्गेनाइजेशन का नाम मैंशन किया हुआ दिखेगा लेकिन आपको डिफरेंस समझना है कि कौन एक्सेस प्रोवाइड करेगा कौन डेवलप किया है कब इम्प्लीमेंट होगा या कौन सी इम्प्लीमेंट एजेंसी इन्वॉल्व है सो दीज वर दिफ्टीन क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द लास्ट वीक्स करंट अफेयर एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ क्वेश्चन कैन बी आस्ट इन योर यूपीएससी एग्जामिनेशन आपको इस तरीके से इन क्वेश्चन की हेल्प से ये पता लगता है कि आपको करंट अफेयर किस तरीके से प्रिपेयर करने हैं ताकि आप कोई भी चीज या कोई भी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट मिस आउट ना करें जिसकी वजह से आपको कोई भी प्रिलिम्स में क्वेश्चन गलत हो आई होप दिस वीडियो वॉज हेल्पफुल फॉर योर यूपीएससी प्रिपेरेशन 
This is it for this video. See you in the next weekly quiz. Thank you.